guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and I am in for a vlog today. So basically, on Twitter, I asked you guys what you really wanted to see in 2018, and a lot of you guys voted for more vlogs, so I am really wanting to do that for you guys. So basic. oh my gosh, I forgot... I'm sitting here with my dang turn signal on. I apologize if you could hear that. But anyway, I'm really wanting to do a lot more vlogs for you guys. So I figured what better than to start it out today. Um, the day is nasty. It's raining. It's gross. But I have some stuff to do. So I figured I would bring you guys along. The first thing I'm going to go do right now, which I am so excited for. And I keep staring at myself right now. And I'm just like shaking my head. Um, is I'm getting my eyebrows done. Um, I get them threaded. It plays in the mall. It's my most favorite, like, way of doing eyebrows that I'm, like, I was kind of scared to ever try it, and then I finally did, and now I love it. Um, I don't think it hurts worse at all, in my opinion, and the girl who does mine, I love, so I will cry if, like, she ever leaves, <laughs> because she's just, like, in a pop-up stand in our mall, and our mall is, like, when I say mall, you guys, I say that really loosely, <laughs> um, but anyway, of course, I don't have them filled in, but they really, really need it. So, I'm going to go do that. I'm, like, pulled over right now so I can vlog. But vlogging and driving, I know a lot of people do it. But, for me, it's it's not that easy. Um, I don't want to get distracted. So, I pulled over here just to talk to you guys for a second. But, I'm about to head to the mall right now to get my eyebrows waxed. I was really feeling a red lip today and, like, neutral eyes. Because I'm missing Christmas and it just gives me Christmas vibes. So, and I keep looking around because I'm like so scared someone's just going to come out and see me and be like, what are you doing? But anyway, I'm going to go to the mall, I'm going to get my eyebrows started, and I'll let you know how that goes when I get done. Okay guys, so I'm sitting in my mall parking lot, Whew, and oh my gosh, okay, so I just went and got my eyebrows started, and I'm going to have to run home before I go anywhere else because my makeup's a whack job now, but she does amazing. I'm actually going to fill in my eyebrows too when I get home, um, and then touch up my makeup, and then go back out. Um, ooh, and redo my hair. I love getting my eyebrows started, though, way more than waxed. Honestly, you guys, if you haven't done it, I definitely recommend it. A lot of people say it hurts a lot, and I have a high t pain tolerance because I don't think it really hurts. But I do have a high pain tolerance with a lot of things. I just do not think that that really hurts that much. I mean, yes, there's going to be, like, a little bit of pain, but it's nothing unbearable. The only part I would say, like, actually hurts is when they do the underneath. Um, but the top nothing bad at all at least you know in my opinion and I feel like it's less of an overall shock because you know how like when they wax it they just rip it off I feel like it's it's just more of a calm thing you know throughout so yeah that's how I feel about that I feel like it's a lot cheaper than waxing is at other places like that's twelve dollars and then you have a little card and after so many then you get one free um, and yeah, it's so weird though, because when they're threading it, you can like literally feel the, each individual hair being ripped out, and I know that sounds very painful, but it's really not like you think. But I really recommend going to do this, like, if you really want your eyebrows done. I feel like they can honestly do it more precise, even, um, than with waxing. But anyway, she does amazing. I can't wait to go home and get refixed back up, and I will show you guys. Like I say, I really, really, these were overdue. But look, all my makeup's like taken away from around that area. But anyway, I'm going to go do that and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I went home. I filled in my eyebrows. Um, not like too, too great. But they're filled in and I retouched some of my makeup. I didn't do all of it. Um, but I basically just didn't want to have the thread marks like cut out on my forehead. Because like literally, you could see where the thread was and it looked like zigzags. But, I am at the library, and, like, really, would this even be a vlog if I wasn't at the library? I feel like I am always at the library in these vlogs. But, I really wanted to try to get some books to read. I've been missing reading. Um, we'll see how I actually stick with it. School's starting back soon. But I still wanted to. Maybe I'll bring you in there. It just kind of depends on how busy they are. Um, and yeah, so I'm here. Like I said, would it even be a vlog if I wasn't here? Um... I don't even know if, like, I want to go to the actual adult section or if I want to go to the teen section because I still read them from the teen section because, honestly, a lot of them in the teen section can be, you know, for adults. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go in there and look and see what I want. Um, even if I do want anything, I may get tired of looking. I don't know. And, yeah, that's really all I have to do today except for I did order a new laptop cover that I love so much. It's marble. And it kind of looks like my straightener that I have that's by Chi. I absolutely love it. My case on my laptop right now 
is old it's breaking and it has stickers on it that I do not want on there anymore so I ordered it and it came in from Amazon today so I will open that with you guys when I get home and other than that that's basically all I have to do so I will see you guys in a second okay guys so I'm out of the library that trip was annoying there are these two old men back in the back like talking mega like mega loud honestly it sounded like they were doing some kind of interview but there was no cameras no nothing like that unless it was for like um a newspaper or something i'm just gonna hold my camera down for a second people are like driving by slowly and okay but anyway i was gonna assume for like a newspaper or something maybe i don't know but they were talking like historical stuff i don't know i was getting annoyed at looking i was getting tired of looking <laughs> I'm so weird, like, about finding books, and I know that's why don't judge a book by its cover, but it's like, whenever you're looking for a book and you don't have time to, like, sit and read, you know, summaries and stuff, like, over and over, like, what are you gonna, you know, what are you gonna do? So, I got three books. Will I actually read them? I don't know. I mean, I really want to. I've been wanting to read, so we'll see. The first one I got is by Sarah Gio. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but it's called Blackberry winter and this is what it looks like i was actually going to get a different one written by her that's called that's called good night june i'm literally holding this right here because some guy's out smoking in the freaking angle of my car but um it's called good night june and the back summary of it was stupid as heck all it said was like many love the beloved classic or children's book good night moon you know if y'all read that and it really didn't give any kind of summary about what the book was about so I looked it up on the internet and it just didn't sound good at all. So I got this one because it sounded, I don't know, it sounded a little bit better. So we'll see. And then I got this one and I feel like y'all are going to laugh. Yes, the cover is weird. I mean, it's like a pretty old painting, but I mean, I don't know. I imagine characters pretty much different from what they're supposed to be anyway. I'm weird. Does anyone else do that? Um, this one's called Mr. Knightley's Diary, a novel. Oh gosh, I was so mad. This lady came out and was like literally just sitting by me forever. And I think she works at the library, so I didn't want to be sitting here vlogging. Um, because, I mean, I'm sure she doesn't know much about this. And she'd be like, why is that girl talking to her camera? And I go in here. Um, I feel like too much for them, you know, to see me. I swear this place is popping. Like literally people keep pulling in. I'm going to go ahead and get through the last one. Okay, I swear this place is popping. Like, literally, so many people keep pulling up, and I keep having to stop my camera, because I'm just like, I don't want people to look at me and think I'm a crazy person. But I'm going to go ahead and get through this last book that I got. It's called The Impossible Lives of Greta Wells. Something makes me think I've either gotten this one before, or I've read it, or I've read about it online. I'm not for sure which one. Um, it has to do with kind of like a, um, what is that movie called with Blake Lively? Age of Adeline. It kind of reminds me of that, but it's not at the same time. So, like, I don't really remember if I've read it before in person or if I've read it when I've looked up, like, books to read, and I think that's what I did. Um, and then for some reason I couldn't find it, like, whenever I first came to the library to look it up. So, but today I found it, so I got it. Anyway, those are the three books that I got. I don't know if I'll actually stick with them or not. But, of course, I'm done at the library. Too many people are coming in and out, and I'm, like, all cautious and, like, moving my head really fast looking to see if anyone's watching me just because I live in, like, the smallest freaking town. I feel like everyone knows everybody. I mean, you can look over your corner, and there's going to be somebody you know just popping out. Stuff like this isn't big where I'm from, too, so it's not as accepted as it is in bigger places. So that's kind of why I, or why I'm like I am. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go home now, and I'm going to show you guys my laptop cover. Okay guys, so I have my laptop case in, and I also have the sticker in that I'm going to put on it that I got from Etsy. It's a betta fish sticker. It's one that I actually had on my phone case, but I had to order another one because obviously it can't be like, you know, restuck. Um, so yeah, and it's the only sticker I'm going to put on this one because I do not want to overdo this laptop case with stickers but i have it in from amazon prime right here and i'm gonna go ahead and open it and here it is and it looks so pretty as you can see it's the marble design which i'll go ahead and take it out real fast okay and here it is taken out obviously it still has plastic on it it has this to wipe it off it comes with a screen protector and it also comes with a um keyboard thing so that's really cool, like a keyboard cover that's also marble. 
So yeah, I like this. And now let me go ahead and show you my beta sticker. Okay, so this is gorgeous. This is huge. This is bigger than my other ones. I love it. It's going to look so cute. So cute. I'll probably put it in the corner. Absolutely love that. This is who I got it from. If you guys are interested. Oh, hold on. There we go. Right there. And yeah, you guys, so that's it of the vlog. I'm not really going to do anything else. I do have to organize my makeup. I don't really know if I'll do that today or not. And I do have to get some things, like, together for college, um, for the college I'm going to be attending after the one I'm at right now. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did and you didn't think it was boring, let me know down below if you want to see more like this um, so I can know and I can do that for you guys. But yeah, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, which you can do by hitting my face right there. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here. It would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video.